Hello guys and welcome back to more Strategy Guide Plays Europa Universalis 4. In this episode we will continue our playthrough as the Irish Miner Connacht. And I'm thinking that this might be a good opportunity to try and expand sort of northward because we're seeing Norway get completely smashed by Sweden. They previously were smashed by I believe, uh, I believe Hansa and their alliance. So I'm looking for perhaps expanding towards Iceland. Uh, Pretty much locking off all other nations from colonizing, at least in the northern part of the of the Atlantic. So I can sort of get, be the only person doing it. The issue is, there's a big issue right now, and that is the fact that England, see, has a claim on Highlands. And if I only take Western Isles, then I won't be able to fabricate a claim on, uh, on the islands. So, either way, I'm going to have to sort of piss off England a bit, but I feel like it's kind of worth it. I don't really have much of another way to expand. I kind of have to do this, to be honest. So I am going to do it either way. Hopefully England won't be too pissed off with me, so let's just rival in Scotland right away. That should, have, that should break our alliance as soon as I unpause it. 2-2-1, two, two, Commander. Yeah. I feel like we should be entirely fine with winning this. Our navy is slightly smaller than theirs, so I'm going to have to rush over there when their navy when their navy is away that's when i'm gonna have to run over i'm gonna build a few more oh no that's that's cavalry i can't afford cavalry i'm gonna build a few more infantry i'm gonna go two above my force limit but i have 300 in bank so that shouldn't really be an issue what do i have a claim on i believe i have a claim so the alliance is gonna dissolve either way i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to take us to build a hit uh so that's gonna be a bit annoying but i already do have a claim on the western isles but i'm gonna Fabricate a claim on Highlands as well. So we have that as well. System pause. Should be good. England is subsidizing me. Oh, awesome. They keep doing it. We broke our alliance with Scotland. That should make England kind of happy as well. Because it means I'm not um, rivaling their their enemy or friend befriending their enemy anymore. Even if I take Highlands, I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm going to take two more. I'm going to have a total of three provinces which they desire. I don't think, because they already desire Ulster, I don't think that's going to be enough for them to turn around and attack me. I hope not, but I feel like I kind of have to do this, because otherwise we're just going to sit on Ireland for the rest of the game, which is just not going to be that beneficial for us. We're still making money thanks to the subsidies, so that's nice. Can I build any barracks? I don't really need any barracks, though. Yeah, I feel like we kind of have to do this, either way, because if we just sit here, we're eventually gonna get pissed off. What I could do, I could always make sure I have a good relationship with um, with Burgundy, so in case England flips on me, then I can quickly get an alliance with them. Right now, they won't rival me because, I all, because of England, basically. Other than them, I might be able to get them if I get my diplomatic reputation up, which I will as soon as the... Diplomatic annex, annex uh, this diplomatic ah diplomatic annexation. There we go. As soon as that penalty goes away, that will go away as well. So I should be able to take them then. Either way, I could just, in the worst case scenario, hire a diplomatic reputation advisor. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. 10k. I'm losing a bit of money, so I need to attack them kind of soon. Where's their navy right now? Can you go check? Okay, their navy is over here, so I'm gonna have to wait a bit. Their other navy is over there. Let's see, their navy is traveling down. That's I think that might be the best opportunity I have. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna, still gonna have to wait until these guys get home. There it is, yeah, it's gonna get be really far away. So this is gonna be perfect. It's pretty much now or never. I'm gonna send these guys home right away, go there. Rush these guys in. I have, I'm just gonna rush immediately to Highlands. I have 10k against 6k. So I should be able to win this, no issue. They are allied with France. That could be a problem. If I promise them some land. I could give them Irishire. I don't really need Irishire. And that should make them... Or I could give them a, a, yeah, Irishire because I need to be able to access my land. And then I can get access through them. So if I give them Irishire and I take Highlands and Western Isles. And that should be good. Maybe... Well, actually, do I really need to take Western Isles? It's basically a worthless province. And it's probably just going to make England more pissed off. So I'm going to be fine with just taking Highlands. So let's do that. Call in England. That should keep France occupied down here. I don't think France is a big enough navy to get over here as soon as as long as England's navy is patrolling around, so that should be fine. So let's just do it. 
That also means that I don't really need to worry about the blockading as much. Okay, let's just run in. Let's hope we do it well. Mil join my military alliance. So now I can't really use the Highland trick, because now they're going to be able to walk around either way, but... Okay, so yeah, I think England is going to be able to smash the army pretty easily. If I give them Aberdeen, Aberdeenshire, then that should be good enough. Yeah, they're going to fight. Good. So I think this is going to be a good idea, actually. I think this is going to be the best way we can do it, because we need... We need to expand. Maybe I should take Ayrshire as well. It's going to make England more pissed off, but maybe that's a good idea. I'm not 100% sure, but if I don't make England... I mean, if I don't expand at all, it's just going to be very, very bad. So I kind of need to do this. At least that's what I feel like. So yeah, what do they have a claim on? They have a claim on Ayrshire, Highlands, and Aberdeenshire. Or, they have a claim on Ayrshire and Highlands. But as long as I occupy them, them they can't be that pissed off at me, so... Let's just do that. Oh, nice, a stability, perfect, because we just lost... Actually, we didn't lose one. Didn't I have a royal marriage with them? Oh, interesting. Well, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I think I can... I don't want to go back and protect trade quite yet, because their navy might just be around still. Actually, France has a pretty decent navy. 16 ships, 3 heavies? That's a pretty decent navy. England needs to be careful. But, yeah, we should be fine with this. I mean, England is going to be smashed up in the mainland Europe, but I don't really care about that. That's fine by me. You can get as messed up as they want. Why would I care? So, oh, we can hire... Yeah, sure, I can get up enough diplomatic power in time. Yeah, this is going to be entirely fine. Actually, minus two unrest. I think I went through that last episode, but I kind of forgot. Actually, I don't think I ever went through the ideas. But yeah, they are very good in general. I mean... They might not be the best military ideas, but they are, have some really good stuff, like trade efficiency is very nice, yield legitimacy is very nice as well, and then national arrest is awesome. Rebels of port efficiency, maybe we should go espionage later on, because that could be quite fun to play around with. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Let's just see. And yeah, Norway is gonna be our next target. I'm gonna have to build up a navy for that though, because I believe Norway, depending on how much Sweden takes, I believe Norway will have a bigger navy than our than our navy, so... I mean, I'm gonna have to build up a navy either way from what I'm starting to colonize, so... Might as well build one up now. Okay, so England is still... England is still sieging down Aberdeenshire. 0%. Yeah, as soon as they've sieged that town, we should be able to peace out. I'm gonna have to give them something, otherwise they're gonna be very pissed off at me, since I promised them land. It would be a bad idea if I don't do it. Side with the clergy. Wait, wait, wait I saw it past. Um, the clergy estate gains 10 loyalty. The nobility loses their no loyalty. Both of, uh, both of them. Okay, one gains 10 influence and one loses 10 influence. You don't want them to have so much influence. How's the current. They have 60% loyalty. Which is very good for me. But if I bring up the clergy. So if I do this, the nobility gains. But the military barely has an influence, so I think I'd rather do this. Or they could lose a bunch of influence. Influence can be... Uh, actually, I'm gonna do this, I think, because they're giving me very good bonuses. Although... Hmm... Actually, let's do this, because I don't... I already have decent inf loyalty by all of them, and I don't... Yeah, I don't really need their benefits that much. And if they get too much influence, then I'll be screwed. So I'd rather just be careful. I think that's a better way of going about this right now. So, you know, should not take any risks. Looks like England is losing down in France, but that's just what we expected. There's nothing surprising about that. I do need an ally with decent ships so I can fight England, because I'm gonna have to fight them eventually, even though it's gonna be very long... Long in the future, hopefully. Eventually it is gonna happen. Oh, look at this, Montenegro is independent. Eventually it is gonna happen, so I'm gonna have to get some kind of ally. I feel like Bergen, they could be useful, but they're not gonna have that many ships before they've integrated their, their Dutch miners. And they don't really have the best navy either way, and France has just been smashed by Bergen in the save either way, so... Yeah. I'm gonna kind of have to... I mean, eventually I'm gonna have to do it, so... Wait. Oh yeah, because of France, of course. I could just reward France a few of their na a few of their provinces. That's yeah, sure. 
I'm not gonna pay them anything, but, but England can give them promises. There we go. That makes England slightly weaker, while still having one province in the mainland Europe, because that means that they will still have... Uh, two, actually. That means that a Burgundian alliance could still be useful for me. So that... They're still occupying... Yeah, Aberdeenshire. So let... I'm gonna take... Like that, and then they can take like that. I don't think that should make England all that upset. I can also humiliate and take war operations. And actually take... Okay, not that much money. I can take... Oh, man. I can take 14 ducats. Well, you know, whatever. It's fine. How mad did that make England? Actually, not that mad yet. You have to go back into uh, improve relations. Yeah, sure. Sure, you can have access. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. They haven't become that upset yet. So I'm feeling quite good about this so far. As soon as as long as England doesn't switch around on me, yeah, then I'm feeling completely confident about this. Rivals, let's rival Norway because that's the perfect opportunity. We're gonna have to start fabricating claim on them quite soon. Okay, so let's start with hiring a explorer though. That's my actually that's gonna cost me. Actually, I have two out of two because of my power prediction. Awesome. Humiliating was a good choice then. Can I, I... What do I need, actually? I need... An explorer, okay. But what do I need? Oh, I can actually do it with my trade ships only. Explore the coast of North Atlantic. Explore the waters. Yeah, explore the waters of St. James. Go do that. Yeah, perfect. Oh my god, please tell me I'll actually, I'll actually get enough to... I think this could be the rise of the Irish... The Irish country, guys. I'm feeling quite good about this start. England, we've maxed out, so we can send you guys back. And England isn't that upset. They don't even have one two provinces on me yet. They have a claim, but whatever. That can go away eventually. This is great. This is really good. Orkney. Let's start with Orkney. Man, Sweden is smashing Norway and Denmark. <laughs> Poor Denmark. They've really gone downhill in what, like, 30 years? They've gone from being probably the most powerful country in Northern Europe to... Having lost their capital and getting the rest of their country occupied. Not that fun. Let's see, the rival of a rival. Who is that? Sweden. Hey, Sweden, you want to become pals? You seem quite powerful. And you could also help me against England, because you will have a decent amount of ships. So yeah, let's send our, our Burgundian guy home for now. Send him to Sweden instead. Wait, why do I have... Wait, I have a bunch of free merchants. I should be able to... Yeah, I can start doing some stuff. I start collecting in the English Channel. It shouldn't give me much money at all. It might give me like 0.1 ducat or something, but still. 0.1 ducat is still 0.1 ducat. Let's see. Is there anywhere else I can collect? It doesn't look like it. Oh, actually, down here. Um, I can't see it. Because that's, yeah. 0.03! Well, you know. It's still 0.03. It's better than nothing, so when I have the merchants, I might as well. Doesn't look like you guys found anything. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything over here. That's a bit annoying. Oh, please, don't tell me that it's all the way over here, because that would be bad. Then I kind of have to try and expand in Europe, despite what's happening. That would be very difficult. Exploration finished. Okay, you guys go explore St. Florence. Where's that gonna explore? Up here. Okay, sure. I mean, if I'm gonna get to Iceland, so... What's my naval force limit right now? 14? Hmm. I'm still over my... I'm already over my naval... my army force limits. I'm gonna disband two of my infantry. Okay, one base tax in Connacht, lose one in Ayrshire, and then 25 local autonomy, and then nobility, lose at five loyalty. Oh, I guess I have to accept it. Or they could gain five loyalty. I will lose some morale of armies, but I don't really need that right now. This is only for a... Oh, okay, so it's for 20 years. Sure, let's do that. Some free loyalty, I'm not gonna complain about it. Bring them up to 55%. If I bring it above... Okay, yeah. That give me back their bonus, so this is good. Come on, guys, please tell me there's some kind of new world close. I really need there to be some kind of new world close. East smoke water, Picot Deep. Doesn't seem like we're anywhere close yet. Oh, damn. Oh, this could be very bad. I mean, I guess, technically, like, America wouldn't be until over here, and then down here would be Brazil. So I wouldn't be in regular America yet either, but still. 
This is still quite frustrating. Go explore North Atlantic. This is in Europe, but whatever. Go, go ahead. I have to build up, a, build up some more ships. If I build up a bunch of heavies, three heavies, and then the rest, and then a few galleys, two galleys, three heavies, two galleys. It's gonna bring me up to twelve, and then two cogs. Actually, I'm gonna need, two. yeah, I'm gonna need three cogs. Yeah. Actually, let's do it like, yeah, let's do it like that. I'm gonna need three cogs. Yeah, that would be the way I have to go about the Scottish natch separatists. 30%, that's fine. Let's go explore everything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see. I have a conquest castle belly against Norway, that's great. Need to take... Do you still love me, England? Yes, you do. Good. Take another province. Can I take... Can I claim on Jaltland? Sure. The rival of arrival is Novgorod this time. Okay, well... Hey Sweden, you don't want to become pals? No you don't, apparently. Distance between borders. That might get solved very soon, <laughs> but still. For now it seems to be some distance between borders, that's the issue. That's it. That's all I can explore, right? Yeah, that's all I can explore for now. Maybe I, I think I need the extra colonial range. Before I can explore anymore. So, let's, we're gonna have to wait for a bit. But we do have decent diplomatic power income, so... It shouldn't be that big of an issue. We're making decent money right now. I guess we could hire an advisor. What should we hire? Should we hire a diplomatic reputation advisor? Sure, I'm still making money, so... And I, I still have a decent amount of money to start off with, so I don't really I don't really mind doing it for now. And as long as England doesn't hate me... I mean, I, I don't understand how they're still at plus 186. I expected to go down to at least like mine... to at least like 150 or something, but I'm staying at almost maxed relations, which is insane. I don't even have my improved relations guy right there. I could bring it up to 189, and I could bring it up to basically 200 as soon as my aggressive expansion goes down, so this is actually very, very good. And as soon as they're... as long as they're subsidizing me, which they apparently still are, that means they like me even more, so... I don't understand that. I attacked their rival, took the provinces that they want, and then they're still subsidizing me. Hey, you know what? I'm not the foreign minister in England, but... Yeah, they need to rework their policies, I think. At least a little bit. See, we're 50% to getting our claim on, on Jaltland, and then we need one on Färöjön as well. Or Färöjön! That's, I don't know. That's not how you pronounce it in, in Norwegian. Sorry. Uh, okay, it looks like in Europe. I mean, the Balkans are kind of... I mean, Montenegro is independent, Ragusa is still independent. Ven Ven well, Venice has kind of blobbed a bit into Bosnia. Actually, the papal state has taken over Provence. It's, it's a, and also, I mean, most importantly, Burgundy has smashed France and taken, I believe, at least, yeah. That's at least two provinces. Actually, three with Campania. So they take three provinces from France. And they don't really have much aggressive expansion. I mean, France is a bit pissed off, but no other nation is really that mad. I guess Lorraine is a bit pissed off. And I guess Leech as well, but not really that bad. Only two of them. Only France and Lorraine are high enough to get into a coalition. And they can't... I mean, if, if Burgundy won the last war, then I don't think that they would be able to beat them. Only those two, so... And they are allied with Brittany and Utrecht, which, I mean, not the best alliances, but they have their extra vassals over here. And Brittany still is decently powerful. I believe they have like 10 to 12 k or something like that, especially with extra provinces you took, so. Well, that's a decent little alliance they got there. Solidify paper relations. We could do that. We could definitely do that. But we kind of need our diplomats right now. So let's wait a bit with doing that. We kind of need them all. I can't believe they're still subsidizing me by one ducat and 30, 1.3 ducats a month. That's awesome. Can you guys explore anymore? No, it's still just circumnavigate the globe, but I need Diplomatic Tech 9 to do that, so that's not gonna happen for a bit. So it's colonial range, then global settler increase, then global tariffs, then another colonist, and then able force limits. I mean, all of these are very good ideas for me, but... Most of all, I just need to be able to find a new world now. I mean, I don't, can't even see a new world at this point, so... I have a claim on what? Oh, I have a claim on that province, of course. I forgot about that claim. Can I give up the claim somehow? Maybe I should take it to the province either way? I don't know. I guess I can't really give up the claim. That's what... Oh, whatever. Doesn't really matter, but... 
Sweden, are you gonna end your war with Norway and Denmark soon? I mean, Norway has become independent now, so you're still allied to Denmark though, but Sweden is not gonna... He's out yet? It's kind of surprising. How's the rebels doing? 40%. Okay. So it's it's not that bad. Or 50% now, but it's not that bad. But with that, guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode now. So thanks for watching. If you want, you can subscribe and you will see when the next video goes out. You can also follow me on Twitter at ECVArpos. If you enjoy this content, I will put out as much as I can. Hopefully one a day, but I'll try. I'll do my best to put out as much as possible. So thanks for watching and I hope I will see you next time when the next episode airs. So bye for now.